Okay, we're in a draft, and we have Foil Flactory Lich. <laughs> and Spelt, Spelt Wine, and the Nighthawk. <laughs> it's also Arms Dealer, Switcheroo. Here's the thing, though. Arms Dealer kills Nighthawk, Switcheroo switches for Nighthawk. So we have two cards that beat Nighthawk, right in the pack. So is it right to take those cards? Probably not. Nighthawk's so good. Let's make this bigger. Yeah, there. That looks good. So we'll take a Nighthawk, and then, let's see, what will we table here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine playables, I'd say. Yeah, I would say. I think we're going to table this, this. We'll probably table a Crippling Blight. Alright, so we just took a Nighthawk. Hmm. This is not uh, Overrun. At all. So, not as good as you would think. This is pretty good if you get the combo going. Uncommon is gone. Well, we just took the Nighthawk. So, Mark of the Vampire seems like a decent pick. I don't know. After taking a double black card, taking a double green card would be good. Maybe a single green, but... I don't know. This seems so situational. I've never... been able to play with Primadox, but... I guess I'll just keep cutting black. I am a fan of Mark of the Vampire. It has killed me more times than I've been able to two for one them or get them with it. I mean, just turning something into basically Nighthawk is good. Because Nighthawk is good because it's flying in lifelink. Death Touch is kind of good. And. Alright. So, we have some options here. Um, hmm. I kind of like the Harbor Bandit. We're not blue yet, but we could be. And a 3-3 unblockable seems very good. On the other hand... The only other options we have are the Vastwood Gorger, possibly Distant Tomb, to get back our Nighthawk. I think this is good enough to where we can see if it works. And if it doesn't work, no big deal. We didn't really mess out on a whole lot. So we have a Loading on Shade, which is really good in black obviously. There's also the option of taking a divination for blue cards, but I think shade is good enough because we don't know if we're blue yet. I mean, we have a kind of a, a reason to be blue, but that's only one reason. While we definitely have a bunch of reasons to be black right now, well, I don't say a bunch maybe is a bad word, but a good indication that we should be playing black. Yeah, I think the shade's the pick here. If we're still playing green, I guess we take the spike bail off here. I don't think we're red though. <laughs> I don't see very many red cards coming through. Okay, so we have a giant scorpion rise from the grave and zombie goliath. This is a tough pick, I think. I definitely enjoy Giant Scorpion, but Rise from the Grave getting either maybe your Nighthawk back, or if you somehow kill their creature, you can Rise their, their creature back. So I definitely like that. I think it's possible to get more Giant Scorpions. Rise is uncommon, this is common. So, uh, 
I think Rise from the Grave is a pick here. I could be wrong. You tell me. You probably know better. Okay. Not feeling that. Although Dark Favor seems okay. If we already have a mark. Mm. I'm not really feeling Encrust here. I don't think I'm going to take Mind Sculpt. Yeah, well, we'll take the Dark Favor. If we get a bunch of those 1-1s unblockables, it's pretty decent. And there's really not a whole lot here for us, maybe in Evolving Wilds, but I think Dark Favor is good enough for it. And here's another one, but I think just uh, a Dork will work. Gotta have creatures to put the Dark Favor on, right? Or is it just right to get another one? And then pick up the dorks. Because the dorks will be around forever and this won't. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't want to blow it up on creature enchantments, so let's just get the dork. Ravenous Rats, another dark fever. <laughs> Kite sail. Uh, we could take the Anathomancer here too, but we really don't have any spells except Rise from the Grave. Turn 6 Anathomancer after turn 5 Rise, that doesn't seem likely. So I guess we'll just take the Ravenous Rats here. Ah, Crippling Blight came back. And the Mind Rot. So we're kind of playing a, a control style deck, and the Distant Tomb came back. Which do I rather have? I think Distant Tomb. Mm, which would I rather not play against? Uh, I guess this. I don't know. I can be really good at aggressive decks, but meh, I can have it. Okay. So, we were able to. What did I just. Oh well. Able to stay black. I guess that's good. Hopefully, we open Liliana. Alright, murder. Definitely good. Uh, I think it's murder and then fog bank for this kind of deck. Maybe giant scorpion instead, though. Because once again, we don't know we're blue. So if the murder wasn't here, I I suppose I'd take Giant Scorpion. Uh, on the table, we probably will have the dress table. And maybe, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, five cards are going to table, so probably Glorious Charge, Water Courser. Uh, Master of Pearl Trident Dress. What was that? Four or five. And maybe Water Courser. I, I think I already said that, though. But anyway, uh, we'll probably have the Dress on the way back. So, murder it is. Okay. Hmm. I actually don't know which would be better to take, murder or public execution. Hmm. Well, just heard the phrase, when in doubt, take the least, uh, less expensive card. As these do basically the same thing. Yes, it's kind of cool that it gives... All the creatures minus two minus O. Oh. Eh, seems okay. So, but I don't think it's that much better. I mean, I'm paying two murder costs to get minus two minus O. Oh. So I'll just take the murder. I really need some creatures here. Uh, there is a ring here though. 
and the rings have been really impressive. So, ringing up a random dork like a ravenous rat and making them pretty big seems okay. And giving regeneration to something like a Liliana Shade or Nighthawk seems pretty good. Excuse me. Okay. So we have the option of a 3 1 exalted or a 2 1 exalted. Um, I don't know the pick again. I think having a bunch of 2 drops seems decent. This also has protection from white, which could be relevant. I don't think we'll be attacking with the 3-1 Exalted, but you never know. So let's go ahead and take this. Hmm. I have Windrake or another Harbor Bandit. I'm thinking for Mono Black, we're just going to splash a couple islands for these Harbor Bandits. <laughs> There's really nothing else here that we might want to take. So let's go ahead. Tormented Soul. I think I would like that. I mean, we have Dark Favor and a one Exalted Dude. And we also have a. Oh, where'd it go? Vampire Bite, whatever that. How much does that cost? Mark of the Vampire. That's it. So let's get some more of these. Hope we pick up one more. There is a pacifism. That is kind of late. I really don't think we're suited to go into white right now. Oh, I guess we could, but yeah, I'd really rather have a tormented soul. Uh, the bats seem decent. Pick. Alternatively, we could have another ring. But I think the bats are good enough to where I don't want just a bunch of rings. <laughs> All of our creatures are black. How many creatures do we have right now? Eight. Ugh. All right, Mind Rot or Sign and Blood. I think it's Sign and Blood here. I think I'd rather draw cards rather than make him. This can be dead. This can get me out of situations or kill them. Okay, the giant scorpion came back. That's awesome. I I picked one, two, three. F I did not expect that to come back, but it did. I'm going to take the giant scorpion. Um, another sign of blood, or a server of nephrox. Hmm. If I had a bunch more of these, I would definitely be leaning towards that. As it is, maybe the sign of blood. I think I really need more dudes though, so like I'd take the creature. Uh, Mark of the Vampire, Blood from the I don't want a Blood from a Vampire, and I don't really want another Mark of the Vampire, but I'll take it. Uh, take the Farseek. Take the black card. And take that. <laughs> take that. Okay, come on, Nighthawk. <laughs> I would definitely enjoy another Nighthawk. Okay, uh, let's see. There's a Flames of the Firebrand here. Hmm, is that just good enough to to take? We are not anything other than black. We have two cards that are unblockable. Hmm. It could be that. That card is ridiculous and it does blow us out. It's either this or switcheroo. This card is blue. We're kind of hinting at the blue cards. 
but even if we're mono black, we could splash the one island. And maybe two mountains. I think this card is good enough to where you just have to take it. I think it's over switch Roo. Yeah, and it just blows us out. Okay, uh, there's a Sarah Angel here, and I don't like seeing that at all. Darn, if we took the pacifism, we could have a Sarah Angel right now. And there's basically nothing here for us. I guess we do have two murders for it, so not that big of a deal. Uh, there's no red card, there's not really a blue card. I guess we'll just take the giant scorpion. That's so many threes. Okay. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to do that. So we'd play it as a 4 2. And I don't really like that. When I could just have a bat instead. I also rise from the grave that I have a couple cards to kill that in my sideboard. Uh, I think it's just another bat here. So we'll take the bat. Okay. Uh, I suppose it's Dust Mantle Prowler here. Not really a whole lot else here, except maybe a Mog Flunkies. Hmm. There's a Zombie Goliath, but I'm not really that big of a fan of Zombie Goliath. And a Blade Tusk Boar. Not a Dark Favor. We really don't have that many creatures to get with the Dark Favor. So, I mean, there are the Harbor Bandits. That's kind of conditional. I really don't want a red creature, so I guess I just take the Zombie Goliath. Could take the Kite Sail. But I don't think so. I think I just need another Dork. Acidic Slime, huh? What are you still doing here? Well, there's not really anything for us in this pack. At all. So, I guess I'll take the Elixir for the mill matchup. Mm. I still don't want Blood Room Vampire. Turn to slag. Or an exalted dude. Uh, I think it's pretty clear exalted. Uh, crippling blight for all the X ones. I guess I could take another Mind Rot. Maybe that would be right in the right kind of matchup. Maybe the Dress instead. Nah, we'll just take the Mind Rot. Ooh, Sign of Blood. Sure. <laughs> take the Distant Tomb. Sure, we'll have a Trumpet Blast. Okay, so we have some cards to cut. I'm thinking something like one of the Mind Rots. Um, I don't know. We'll just see. Uh, probably one of the dark favors. Only 16 creatures, though. What's this was can't attack rather than can't block? <laughs> oh well. So we're mono black splash island splash 
um, mountain. So, right, shade, bar, fly. And take these bats in. Nope. Nighthawk, murder, murder. Yep. Mind drop one. This can go in. Giant scorpions can go in. Cyan blood can go in. Two, two, dork can go in. One dark favor can go in. Ravenous rats. Yep. Yep. One, disentomb right now. Flames, ring. Okay. What do we got here? 26. And 15 creatures. Some of them kind of don't do anything, though. Maybe the Mind Rot is a card to get rid of. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, playing 15 lands, right? <laughs> So many threes. Oh well. Uh, I don't know how good Disentomb will be. So maybe... Maybe it's just... Take out... Zombie Goliath. And play 16. We have two Sign and Bloods. We have Lilian Shade at four. Hmm. I'm okay with that. Let's try that. 15 1. I definitely agree with the one mountain. I think I want three islands. I really do want to draw the island. Um, I can go two mountains. I mean, Eleven swamps were pretty much guaranteed, for the most part, to get double black. What is going on here? Okay. So, I really wish I had involving wilds. Alright, so we're going to splash green to get far seek. <laughs> mm, what else am I forgetting? Well, Rebirth, Dark Favor, Mind Rot, Blood Reckoning. Ooh! That's definitely something to put in. More Exalted. So I guess we take out Dizzy Tomb now. That's a four drop. Now I don't like having 16 lands. It's amazing what one four drop will do. And there's a lot of threes, so maybe it wasn't even right to do 16. Putting Disentomb. And then. Something like that. Playing 41 doesn't seem right. I think it's got to be one of these cards down here. Maybe it's the Dark Favor. We're really not that beady down. Yep. The only thing it's good on is this. Possibly this. I could be swinging for five. And with all the Exalted. Okay, you made it back in. Where did that go? Where did that just go? Uh, oh, okay. 
He was hiding from me. 41? That doesn't seem right either. But I really can't see anything to cut. Maybe one of these bats. I think our worst card is Ravenous Rats. He's a two drop. He does something decent. Yeah, I, I think he's our worst card. And we're not really doing any sort of discard. I think I will slide him back in if it's a slow matchup, though, with, along with two mind rods. <coughs> so, like the blue white deck, I'll probably take out the dark favor and put in mind rot and ravenous rats, etc. I'll figure it out. But as it is right now, this will work. And we're on the play. Okay. We would not like to mulligan. Okay, so the question is, do we dark favor this? I think the answer is yes. We're swinging for four on turn two. That seems awesome. <laughs> no chumps. Hmm. <laughs> an eight damage that's pretty good swinging no I don't block what we got upkeep okay so we can swing for five he'll block or we can swing for five and he'll block here. Six, actually. Because this giant scorpion doesn't do anything. Mm, I think the play is just swing for four. Yep. And then we'll play our harbor bandit. He might jump. Yep. And then next turn, draw island and swing with this. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to swing for four. If he blocks, I'll regenerate. Pretty simple. And then play that post-combat, right? Yes. Okay. Still okay here. He wants to attack. I think I'm willing to trade this for that. Or perhaps even this. That could get bigger. It has more potential than this. Clearly he wants to trade Giant Scorpion for something. 
I have another one of these. Oops. Okay, so we can trade three one ones for a, that, and I don't like that. So, <coughs> uh, I can swing with this, and he can't kill it. Draw murder. Okay. Well, if I swing now, he swings back, and that's not good. So, pass a turn. Would like to draw something other than a land. Like I said, we would like to draw something other than a land. Okay. He's probably going to swing in now. Or not. Okay. I suppose that makes me allowed to swing with this. Uh, I need a block, alright? Uh, swing with this, he's, he's going to swing back. So I need this to swing. Yeah. I want to attack with this. He attacks with this, I'm blocking with this, for sure. Okay, still not. Murder. Well, that's good, right? So I murder that. And then attack with this. And he blocks with a bunch of dudes, that's fine. Maybe this and one more. Maybe it's wrong to attack there. I don't know. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's going to get big enough to where I need to deal with it. But then he can attack with these, so maybe not. Land. Huh? See, if I didn't attack with that one, I would have been able to uh, attack for four instead of three. I think now is good enough to block the dryad now. Two. So if I block block, he's just going to... Yeah, I'll just take the three. That's fine. Uh. 
You want a Titanic girl with it? Please, by all means. Okay, we definitely hesitated there. Not a land. Sign of blood. It's not a land. Mark of the Vampire. Alright, swing for five. Yep. Oh, lock up, soldier. Creature. Sign in blood. Well, I think we attack first before we sign in blood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we gotta make sure that the damage gets through. Oh, wait a second. Sign blood him. <laughs> Glad I did it to him. Okay, so Mark of the Vampire got us there. Bunch of one ones. Grippling Blight seems pretty good. Maybe just one. And perhaps. Oh, I don't know what's not very good. Mm. Okay, just what did I take out? This? I don't think that's right. Perhaps Dark Favor, as good as he was, is a card to take out. We'll try it. Nighthawk seems good. That's not an instant. <laughs> yeah. I think I lead with Nighthawk. Although, maybe not. I think I play Island and see what he's got here. Good night. Hmm. Let's go ahead and swing. Okay. Definitely liking that. Hmm, maybe that was wrong, actually. Who knows? Now I can kill his 1 1, but I don't think I need to. Rise from the Grave is a good draw. We'll go ahead and swing. And play Nighthawk. Let's 
Looks like he's stuck on lands. Go ahead and kill his 1 1 now. And swing for 5. Draw some cards. Maybe that was wrong to play. Probably. It's okay, I have a rest from the grave. That makes Stall Fizzle around 50 games in a row. Good game. Okay. So I draw a card. Draw two cards. <laughs> Kill him. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, don't kill him. Oh well. <clears throat> anyway, match two. Okay. Well, this hand is pretty awful. I mean, even if we get our turn to land, it doesn't really do anything. So we're going to Morgan. This hand is much better. Okay. Green, red. Ooh, don't like seeing that. We'll play that. And I think we have to play Nighthawk here. Just to catch back up. Okay, maybe not. Looks like it's Giant Scorpion. Attacks into it. Ooh. Well, I'm going to block. Mm. I'll go ahead and play this. Okay, what the heck. Swings for one. I'm going to swing back for two. In fact, I'm going to swing back for three. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Go ahead and draw some cards. Okay. Attacks for one, I go to ten. Tramp boy. Well, I can play this, attack 4, he goes to 12, play Nighthawk, this is just an issue, isn't it, maybe I should have, hmm, I think the answer here is to play Nighthawk in anticipation of blocking this. And then, hopefully Mark of the Vampire gets us out somehow. I don't think we can sign on blood, it's too close. Oh, 
I'm going to try to block here. And it won't work, will it? You could have titanic growth. I'm just really blown out. I think I have to block with Nighthawk. Just to ensure that I gain life. Uh, he still dies, bro. So, I'm glad that happened. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and play this. Except tapping correctly. And he's got zero cards in hand. So I'll go ahead and sign blood. Okay. Mug flunkies. Ooh, that sucks. Hopefully it was just a land. Ooh. Okay, good. I have neither. But that makes it less likely that this will happen. Hmm. So I have a four, seven, four, seven, five. Oh man, that's really, really tough. I have a 7-5, and then you'll swing all, I block, I block, oh, well, let's just go to 3. Rise from the grave, that seems actually good, because I can get back with Nighthawk. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So I can get back Nighthawk and put Dark Favor on it. And go to two. Hmm. Or I just mark. Man, this is tough. <laughs> Rise from the grave. This is really tough. Get back Nighthawk. Put Dark Favor on it. I have a huge Nighthawk. I just gotta deal with that. Is that the right play? Uh, then I would have a... Oh, maybe it's not. Nice from Grave Nighthawk. I have a 5 4. Oh man. I could have a 5 4 Nighthawk. And then. No. I think it's just. Putting both on here as was planned. And then I could rise Nighthawk and just start swinging with that. Then he'll eventually block. Okay. I got a two. And we'll pass. 
pass. So next turn we rise Nighthawk. Ooh. That's gonna be good eventually. <sighs> I'm gonna kill that. Ooh, I can attack here. Nope, sure can't. Attack for two. Okay. Ooh, that's really good. Attack for two. for five. Swings back. Yeah. Kills this, I die. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, block. Three, four, five, six. I don't die. He kills this. That doesn't do it. I could chump. Do I chump or block? Well, if I block, those both die, and then I swing back for three. Or fun. Yeah, I block. That works. But do I want to show him I have a murder? Nope, I don't. Oh man, <laughs> my heart is racing on that one. Green, red. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I just may want to listen to him for this. But what to take out? Maybe I should put in the Ravenous Rats and Mind Rats to get their the big dudes out of the game. I'm probably going to need the Zombie Goliath too. So. What does that mean? Maybe take out one of the bats? No. I really just don't think that's good enough. I think I'm going to need the distant tomb to get back, like, giant scorpion, though. So. Something like. Oh, I don't know. Servant, maybe. I really don't see anything I'd rather take out then. For the distant tomb. Maybe the duty bound dead. That blocks his dorky big creatures all day, right? If it gets in the late game. I guess I'll just keep it as it is. Hope that's good enough. 
I really do hope that's good enough. Mm. I don't think I'm going to mulligan this hand. Turn three Nighthawk, turn four that. I'm glad he has no turn two play. And no turn three play. Plummet, sure. I suppose I could have led with the giant scorpion, but really no need. That's getting murdered. We'll go ahead and F6. That I don't care about. Okay. And let's see. I guess we do this. Attack for three. Another plummet. Okay. Siding in the plummets. I will take it. I have four, huh? Do I murder that? Well, giant scorpion deals with that, so. I'll do that. Even if he kills, you know, Giant Scorpion, I think I can take five. Mm, can't attack. He can attack for two, but he attacks back for five. Not worth it. I could be getting in for three right now. Oh, probably should have done that. Oh well. Yeah. Would have been the play. I guess I'll do it next turn until he plays that one card that completely wipes my board, right? That takes a card out of my hand. Hmm. I guess I'm willing to trade uh, Titanic Growth for that. That was interesting. Hmm. Attack for three. I think I do do this. And then attack for five. Two. Oh, wait.
Attack for five. Goes to two. And we're there. All right. Got to the finals. Oh boy, how exciting. <laughs> All right, finals. And of course, we'd like to play first. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm not going to mulligan it, but I'm not happy about the hand. Hmm, maybe it is a mull. Who knows? I think it's sign of blood turn two, though. Only I would have drawn drawn an island instead. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with the two two. Find something? Why is he hesitating? Can't ask and scatter it now, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that hesitation means. Okay, unsummon. That's pretty good. And it immediately dies. Well. Hmm. Maybe I should go and wait a turn. There's probably a chance for 1-1s. One but at the same time... Yeah. That's probably correct. Maybe it wasn't. Because he would have had to tap one. To gain lifelink. Yeah, I don't know. Whoops. Nope, that's fine. How did you control a planes? Yeah, I'll take the two. Obviously. Go ahead and F6, be honest. Alright, Water Courser. Well, let's see. Uh, I think we play this. And the next turn, if we draw land, we play this and this. If we don't draw land, we could play Dark Favor, but... Eh, I don't know. I just feel wrong about it with all these blue and white. And I doubt we'll win the race, but you never know. It's me for four, that's fine. Okay, we drew the land. So we'll start with this. And then end with this. No attacks. Go ahead and F6. I'm 
Nothing to rise from the grave yet. Yeah, I will definitely be blocking that. All right. Uh, try to get there. In combat damage. Now, does he have a planar cleansing? I do have a rise from the grave for it. Okay. Uh, I think I'll take the three. Sounds pretty good to me. Look and turn. Okay. Oh, let's see. I'm taking three, four, five. I'm on two turn clocks, so I really can't attack with that. Uh, he is on a three turn clock, supposedly. So, what do I do here? I'm gonna attack, six, take six. Attack with this. Not this, so I can block the welcome turn. And then this as well. Takes one, two, three, four, five. If I do nothing. So if he takes it all, he'll take 14 and then die next turn, so he can't do that. Um. What do I do? I think it's too risky to just swing with this and pump all. So maybe pump all but two. Ooh, crap. Nope, that's fine. I can make it unblockable. Stop on my turn. Don't stop on my turn. Don't stop on opponent's turn. Oh man, oh man, can I make it unblockable? Stop on my turn. Okay, I think so. I hope so. Declare tax. Oh no, I don't, I don't know, but I have to risk it. This sucks. Okay, my turn. My turn. Give me give me priority. Give me priority. <laughs> give me back priority. Whew. What? Are you kidding me? I can't do it. Huh. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> that was close. Okay, you're at 10. So I'll go ahead and play you. Or... Yeah. It's definitely right to play you. Or do I play Rise from the Grave? For this. Or that. One, two, three, four, five. That way I can block that. That seems good. That way I don't die. <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, well. That was bad. That was really bad. I did I thought it was a two two, but I was mistaken. Okay. It's better than on somebody in that. There swings both, I go to five. No. Hmm. And he plays another one, darn it. Six, seven, eight. So I have to survive two turns somehow. Can I do that? <laughs> Hmm, so take three, go seven, swing back, okay, block, take three, go to seven, swing back for six, um, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nope, that doesn't work. Well, swing back for six, seven, eight. Okay, he gives it. I think that's enough, because that puts him at 15, I'm at 7, he swings, I go to 1. Oh, that puts him at 17. Well, we gotta kill the fucking turn here. I'm going to 1, I think. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do we do here? We have a whole bunch of Exalted. So six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I can four, five, six, seven. What do we do? I need, I need to push in the most amount of damage I can. So. I, I think swing all maybe? Uh, unblockable? He goes six. Blocks this. Six, seven, eight, nine. So if I swing all, he has to block, right? Yeah. Has to block. Now oh, makes it lifelink. Crap, what do I do? Whoops, paused it on accident. Yep, this definitely needs to be unblockable, so I need to make that unblockable first. Okay, well, I can't figure out all the math right now, so I think the play is to swing all, because he has to block, right? He takes six, 
box like here. I have to pump it four times. I can't play anything so, to make it survive. I can't play anything. I need to play something. So I pump it once and then have four mana to play this. No, this. Because I, I need to play that. Or I can play both these. Three, four, five. Three. Yeah, I can just play both of these. And swing four, six, seven, eight. He goes to four. Doesn't get a chance for lifelink unless he attacks. I go to one. I attack back. And he goes to four, seven. I attack back for eight. Right? Did I do that right? Six, seven, eight. Goes to four. Goes to seven. Attack back. Okay. <laughs> Play this. I think that's the right math. I hope it is. He has no cards in hand. Goes to four. Okay. If he draws on something or something like that, I'm screwed. Pacifism, I'm screwed. Okay, so he either bluffs or plays something. That's what he can do. If I swing all, assuming I screw this up somehow, <laughs> uh, let's see. He gives this life lank and blocks here. Sure. Uh, or I guess here. And then blocks here. No, you can't do that. Okay, I go to one. You gonna give it lifelink, bro? Looks like he's just gonna bluff. Oh, okay. Making sure I did it. Whew. Okay, that was intense. I don't know why so intense, but it was. Holy crap. Okay, so mind rot and unsummon. Alright, I'm not. Not mind rot and unsummon. Uh, ravenous rats and unsummon. And holy crap, he has some flyers. So, Mind Rot's coming in. Ravenous Rat's coming in. Um, he has tons of Unsummon. So, Mark Vampire, no. Dark Favor, out. Mark Vampire, I'm going to keep in because he can get me back in the game. 43, huh? This seems... Not likely. 42. Oh. Mark of the Vampire might just be... There's too many on summons, and I just don't want to lose that to that. And... Card. Gotta deal with his flyers somehow. 
And there's really no way, is there? <laughs> Kite sail, maybe? But I don't have it. Flames. Rise from the grave is creatures. Maybe it's the ring, but I can't really play around on summon all day. Maybe it's just one more mind rot. No, it's got to be the ravenous rats. Yeah, okay. Okay, do I keep this hand? I don't see why not. It's kind of aggressive. We'll play that and then this. We can unsummon it all day. I don't care. It's one mana. Okay. So you got three cards, maybe? Hmm. Play this. Exalted dot deck, huh? <laughs> so he plays land and a creature. I mind rot him. Okay. Well, I guess I'll mind route you now. Oh, hang on. Can't attack. Uh, three, four, five. So, five, three. As opposed to a two, three, so, hmm. I really don't think I attack here. If he plays a soldier, though, that's two, four, six damage, so maybe it is right to attack. <laughs> and I can rise from the grave something later. Yeah. I think it is right to attack with something like this. Just dorky. So here that would take well, maybe I should attack this instead. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This regenerates. That's not really that relevant. If he wants to kill it. Yeah, it's definitely this. If he wants to kill it, he has to kill both of his dudes. Okay. I draw you. All unsummons. Okay. So, he's got a bunch of cards. And as a bunch, I mean none. And I have a bunch of cards. We play this. And tech for two. It looks like I'm winning this race until he plays a soldier. Okay. No longer winning the race. Hmm. Do I ring it up? Or do I just play another exalted dude? Play another exalted dude seems like the play. And then attack him for 
One, two, three. Still not enough. Dang it. The next turn will be. Hopefully. Three. So one, two, three, four. Wait. How big is he going to be? <laughs> He's going to get plus three, plus three. Okay. So not enough. Maybe it was right to attack there. I don't know. I'm taking four, I go to ten. But now I get to attack with this. If I don't draw a land, what do I do? So. Play land, attack for two, three, four, five. Oh, attacking for five seems good. Bat it up. And summon this. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Okay. We swing all. What happens? This can't really do anything. Block. 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 Awful. Okay. So. I guess just swing with this because he has to block with this. But there is Divine Verdict. So since he has to block anyway, well that allows him to block with Welcome Turn. So let's swing with this. Make him all big and stuff, right? No. Which is it? <laughs> it's not this, because I don't want him to die until it's something stupid like um, Divine Verdict. So swing with this. No, well, it's got to be this, because he has to block with that, then. And the next turn I kill him. There are cards that can blow me out here, but... There's also cards that won't. Uh, let's see... What to play, what to play. I suppose... The ring. And then... A giant scorpion. Cat Cleric. Still protection from white. Quip. Nothing can block. Man, I played rough. I guess I'm still playing. Could have something unsummoned. <laughs> Games. Okay.
Well, it looks like we got there. Season 10. I wonder how many of those I have. Probably not enough to do anything worthwhile. Oh, man. That was intense. But somehow punted our way into the finals and somehow punted the finals, even though we couldn't figure out math <laughs> or anything. But it was still a lot of fun getting here. So, I guess, continue on. That looks good, right? It's a mythic, so we'll probably play it. 